Wait, we got it. Oh, damn. all right, peeps. Well, I went ahead and hit record because I thought it'd be funny to. Uh, yeah. yeah. For, so welcome Dude's to good, the Aha yeah. Gripe. We also have. Uh, we also. We also. also have Matt here for the second time. Also. also. FBB in the house, and I'm gonna. All right. Will you stop it? Okay. This is like incredibly too close, but I'll just talk quietly. This guy, I, this I don't understand. Every week, waits till we start recording, start moving stuff around, making noise. And well, I move make around a move. every week. So, how you guys doing? How was your week? It was good. How about you? I would ask how your Thanksgiving is, but in actuality, we haven't had Thanksgiving yet. You no, have, but we, we haven't. haven't. So we're gonna not talk about that. Oh, we can do a foot update. Sure. We all love feet updates. We haven't had a foot update for a minute. Okay. Let's do a foot update. My foot is now allowed me to... I can go back to work. Yay. Okay. I Most a, people would be depressed about that. But. Well, no. Listen, I I don't like not working. Yeah. I got to have something to do. Yeah. But I can find plenty to do right here at home. Well, I could too, but I, I don't make money doing that. I'm one of them greedy bastards that wants to make money. I see. What about you, Matt? You want to go back to work? Matt's never at work now. He's got a job and he doesn't show up. Man. That's true. They don't call him part That's time true. for nothing. I couldn't believe you took a week's vacation without a single pay. A bit of I, pay. I can't either, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. Looking back at it, I'm like, why? Yeah, yeah that that wasn't so smart. For people who don't know, Matt's the only guy I know that goes to a concert on Saturday but has to take Thursday, Friday off so he can go to a concert on Saturday. <laughs> Because I travel most of the time for them. Oh. Like the last time I was That's one thing. I've never traveled out of state for... Oh, yes, I have. Let's let's be honest, though, Matt. Traveling isn't going from here to Wheeling. It's, what, three hours? That's not traveling. That's just going to a concert that's not close, close by. Yeah. yeah and then I that's not stay traveling. Because I don't like leaving a concert at 1 o'clock in the morning to drive all the way back. But that's still not traveling. So if, you, if it, so if so it takes less there? than five hours to go, that's not a traveling. So what, do you stay there, Matt? Yeah, oh, I get a hotel and stay. He sleeps in the back of his Honda. I don't drive a Honda. He drives the uh, Toyota version. Oh, it's a Toyota. I'm sorry, I thought it was a Honda. <laughs> Excuse me. They are different. They are. They're two completely different. different companies. Well, my car is actually a Honda, or a Toyota, but it's, it says Pontiac on it. Right. It's the same, exact same thing as a Toyota. Yeah. Yep. Same motor, everything. Just got a different badge on it. But do you know what Toyota? Uh, Matrix. Yep, very good. Which means he's got a Pontiac Five. <laughs> Pony Rat. Pontiacs were know. decent cars. Pontiacs were like the the Buicks. They yep. were they were better than Chevy. Well, listen, somebody in my in my extended family sell. They have a Buick dealership. If you ever want a new Buick, let me know. I'll hook you up. You know what? Ever since two thousand eight, I won't touch a GM. After two thousand eight, that company is not the same. Really? Yes. I don't know. I'm. I promise. I pr- I worked for a repo company. I promise you, their quality has went to shit. After I don't like the way they look anymore. They well, I, I can't much. argue that because yeah. Ford looks awful. Yeah. I like Fords because I have great luck with them, but their cars are boring as shit. I've never ever had a good luck with a Ford. Never. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the Machis. I know electric yeah. vehicles. It's a big bit of a touchy subject, but the Machis look nice. I will say that. Yeah. I I don't know. Like I'm if I ever make a lot of money, I'm buying a Cadillac. Oh God! Good luck. I want to. What I want? What well, I shouldn't say. I'm either going to buy a a very nice Escalade or I'll buy a nice like Tahoe, Yukon kind of thing. I like the Denali's. Those are nice. You know what you should do if you're going to buy a Caddy? At least buy one. Um, I can't spell. Cad- That's it's uh, with a D, not a B. That's Cabalac. You're right. Cabalac. Cabalac. Cabalac after the. Hey man, it like depends on where you're at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, at least buy like an older one. Well, I used to have one. I had a, a yeah, but a nice DTS. older one, like not not necessarily a fifties. No, no, I had like a oh my god, it'd be early two thousands DTS. It was nice. I loved that car. Yeah, I would, I would take another one of those. It ran good. You got to do like the older ones so you have some cool factor. Why or, did I do that? Or you got to buy the the V series because they're super fast. And you take it down. To South Carolina, give it to the guys at Mallet Motor Cars and have them crank that baby up to about 1,100 horsepower. And then, you know, you go to the grocery store. And then you can't there. drive it anywhere. And you go to the grocery store with it. <laughs> we need a gallon of milk. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't understand how super rich people live because that's I, exactly I what they do. <laughs> I guess. I have a $180,000 G-Wagon so I can go to the grocery store. Damn you, 
Google and all your freaking damn you sponsored Google. BS. Googles, he's he's a Googler. Googly googly. You know that sucks about that. I've been on Google for so damn long. It's just I'm used to it, and now I like can't stand it, but I can't switch. See, I, don't, I like the CTSVs too. Those are really nice. I'm looking for an older one, but all I'm getting is just all this. How old do you want? We're talking like 90s or 80s. Okay, so 90s, the nine zero apostrophe S Cadillac. Why do you got to be all smart and shit? Well, I, I don't know why this is so tough for you. There you go. Mine looks almost exactly like that. There you go. An eight, a 98 Cadillac. It's <laughs> that right there. That's exactly what I had. There's a blue one right there. There you go, 78 Cadillac. You'd almost have to have two houses to park it. Well, you just got to have a big yard. Look at this guy right here. Oh, this is the one Matt's going to like. Look at that. that oh, it's like a bastard. spaceship. <laughs> I can see myself driving that, 100%. I, I don't know why. And they, were, and they were better built back then than they are. I mean, they still had problems because they always well, want, yeah, they all have problems. They want to have the newest technology, but they don't wait for the technology to be get bulletproof. That one right there looks a lot like what I had, except mine was a DTS and not a DeVille. Yeah. Here's a 72 Cadillac DeVille, but of course the page isn't loading. Of course not. Why so, would do such a thing? 13,000. How many miles is on it? Got a V8, of course, because a car that big. Look at that bit, beast. Oh, now that's nice. Yeah. Let's see the front end like of that, that thing. I'd drive that. Balls hog. That is definitely the Boss Hog Mobile. It certainly is. Oh, who cares about the engine? Engine in a car like that doesn't matter as long as he can get it moving. Oh no! See, I couldn't do it because he—it's rednecked. It is definitely redneck. They put those, those stupid gadgets. You don't need <laughs> you those gadgets of those. off. I mean, the gadgets. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Gadgets. Gadgets. The gadgets. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Listen, <laughs> Mister, you don't even talk because you can't speak. He just snorted. <laughs> This guy, he's the only person let I know that can't say yesterday let me show you without thinking about car. it. You like Cadillacs. Nothing wrong with that, except they break a lot. Let me show you. <laughs> I am in Well, it's not. like It's just <laughs> I enjoyed the one that I had. Sure. So let me show you what I like. <gasps> there it is. Your guy's going to laugh, and that's perfectly fine. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, this is kind of what Man, I want. Man, the internet's working slow as shit today. Look at this guy right here. That this is. I can't because it ain't loading. Well, I'm just to wait a second for it to load, and it's nice. It needs to be faster. There you go. The Denali nah. Yukon. That thing is nice. That's nice too. Look at that Delta 88, or is that a 98? That's a Delta 88. No, you're right. It's a 98. Look at that beast. Now wait, this isn't even the best. Can you even see it, Matt? Yeah. I'm gonna move this. So I'm looking at a a blue, ninety eight. I think it's a ninety eight. Oh, eighty three. It's eighty three, but it's a Delta ninety eight. And it's a Brom. Now wait, wait till you see the interior. Now and the, that's pronounced the, Broham. Yeah. Say, so oh, oh, look, they have the old man bug guard on it. I got. Oh, to, that's hilarious. I got to take that off. Now check this out. Wait, till, well, right, that's not the best picture. <laughs> Oh, come on. Why would they do that? Why would they take super close-up pictures? Because they want you to know that that old car still has Look at those seats. Tuck and roll, baby. That is a couch. (laughs) That is a super plush couch. I love it. Look at that. That It's like being in someone's living room. (laughs) That is what I want. If you're going to roll, roll fat. Look at this. Look. Look at the seats. God, the thing is in beautiful condition. Here we go. Did anybody sit in that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's where it gets They're, ugly. But see, but that's, yeah, that's where it gets ugly. <laughs> as soon as you look there at you the go. dash, that's where it gets ugly. 2500 Denali pick em up truck. That's nice. For $90,000. <laughs> well, that dude, they're ridiculous. Denali's are crazy. Money. Trucks in general right now, the prices are ridiculous. It definitely Mine's only twenty six. Wow. I wonder if they're asking that much because it's in such good shape. Twenty six grand or twenty six hundred? Twenty six grand. What is, what is the mileage on this beast? It should say five hundred thousand. It's got eighty two thousand miles. They're so stoned. Expensive. They're stoned. They're not getting twenty six thousand dollars for a car, especially in the eighties. A hundred thousand miles was the end of the car's life. Yeah, they're high. Probably they're just playing. They're it, playing on my emotions. It's redneck out, so you're probably right. They probably are high. 
Yeah, they probably I mean, are. You gotta be pretty high to drive a car like that. Well, you gotta oh, be a redneck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> here's this. Oh, here's a '77 tor- uh, tor- Tornado. Tornado. Thank you. Almost couldn't say that. Ooh, there's a Regal. It's not a Grand National, but it's a Regal. Those are nice. Yeah. Grand Nationals are nice though too. Twenty five. Right. They're asking twenty five thousand. Let's see how many That's miles is on it before I go any further. Sorry, right, thirty eight. That's okay. What it's- a. That's Beast. a boat, dude. Dude, I know. It almost needs hinges halfway through it so you can get around corners. Oh, it's so ugly. I love it. It needs titanium door pins look, because look, if not... Look they, at the fake... It, you, it's got that's fins. a Cadillac. Yeah. All they did was take a Cadillac, dumb it down, and put yeah. Oldsmobile badges on it because it's even got the big-ass Cadillac. The, yeah, the big fin lights on the back. That's pretty wild. I'd love that. Go back. Go back? Turn signal up in the trunk. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> isn't that great? They did that kind of shit back then. Look at that front end. That's, That's so a, cool. That's so cool. See, now that just lets you know about why when we were kids and you get hit by a car, look, you, you look got the, destroyed. I'm telling you, that's a couch. It's yeah. a seat with built-in cushions. Like I said, that just shows you why when we were a kid and you get hit by a car, you damn near died. And now if you get hit by a car, you're like, yeah, look, I broke the plastic on that. Oh, and some redneck oh, had to ruin they, it. <laughs> they redneck the hell out of that. Yes, look. That's so that, oh stupid. Oh, my God, look at all the switches on it. Yes. That's just crazy. There's an EQ. It, oh, this jack of putts put an EQ for jack each side. Yes. These are supposed to be stereo jack EQs, putts. and he put one for the right, and one, so he, he doubled up the EQ system. Jamoke. Jackass. Look at the gay-ass switches in that thing, too. All right. One of those is the ejectocito button. Ejectocito and they, button. And, and they want, <laughs> how much did they want for it? Like, that one was twenty two grand. I think twenty two nine. If it was mint, I would Ooh, think about it. That's nice. <gasps> oh, and it's only twenty grand. <gasps> that's very nice. I know, right? I'd drive that. Let's see. Load wouldn't load. be so wouldn't be so great in the winter. So we're looking at a nineteen fifty Oldsmobile eighty eight. Yep. He wants twenty grand for it. Let's see how many miles is on it. Eighty six is though. a lot for back then. That's a nice big fat fin. Look at that thing, though. That would be so badass. Yeah. It's a little high off the ground, but only like an inch. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I think that's kind of how they made them back then, right. though. Look at the front end. Bam. Dude, look at that thing. I it like, looks like a locomotive. Yeah. I feel like that would look a lot better with the white wall tires. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now let's check out the interior since I was bragging so much on the last let's one. Let's see what it looks like inside. Let's see if they... Uh, see, that's Cardboard. more period specific, yeah. Cardboard. But I said that's period specific, though. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. That interior don't look as nice. No. Well, yeah, but I said it's, it's <laughs> no, it period specific, so it's it just makes it more worth more because it's correct. And it, look, that's all coming off. But mm. oh well, it's still got the cool factor going on. I'd still drive it. See, my dream car is a 1969 Z28 Camaro. Uh, I'd actually like a '67 Malibu SS. Yeah, those are super Another nice. One. Now I'm gonna just blow, really blow you guys' mind. If we're gonna go back to any year, I'm gonna show you the land yacht that I want. The land yacht. So it's gonna be seventy something. Oh, that's a fifty-eight. Frick! I can't spell Mercury. Merc M E R. Hold on, hold on. Turnpike. Wait till you see this beast. Now it's not. It's not the cool factor it, immediately. It's the weird shit that they put all over this vehicle, right? I'll show you in a minute. If I just need a picture big enough. There you go. It should pop it up there. Nope, that's going to give you that. Boom. It's still not very big. But if you look, there's like little antennas in the air vents yep. above the above, above the, the driver's door. Yep. side. Yep. yep, Right? And it's got all these lights. <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that freaking awesome? Look, it's got the M, and that's there. a separate piece of metal. Damn, damn bird. You'd be all right. Damn bird. Now i got to find a better picture to show you the back end, because the back end looks even cooler. we got to see it from the back, Jack. All right. We'll see. Well, hold on. I need the right picture. There's a good one right there in the middle. This is an ugly color, though. That is a terrible color. Ah. Why do I have to? It's the Internet. How come I having trouble? All right, we go back. I'll tell you the other car from the '60s that I really, really like. The late '60s is the El Caminos. I think they look really nice. I used to have one. A '60s El Camino? Uh, I don't know exactly what year it was. It was. Um, I forget what year it was. I had an '81 El Camino. That thing was fun. But Super fun car. My brother had it, and then I took it, and then 
yeah, it's, it was junk, but it was fun. It was fun to drive, even though it was junk. I had to start it with a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that. But yeah, I had just turned me up. Yeah, because you're, you're I'm so far away from it. That's all right. I can turn it up. I know. Well, I, I heard myself go up in volume. <laughs> <laughs> that. Now that Mark's playing with things. Dude, I'm having the hardest time finding it. There's like a medallion they put in the back window. And I'm having the hardest find. I, I can't believe I'm having this much trouble finding it. It just looks like the police car from the Andrew Griffith Show. Oh, dude, it looks so much better. <laughs> I don't know what they, the cop car was in the Andrew Griffith Show, but it kind of looks like that. All right, this is on Facebook. It might be better. Okay, oh, this, this is better. All right, so let's go. do this. All right. You see it? Yep. It's like a freaking medallion just sitting in the... It's So like a hood ornament. Yeah, yeah, in, in the back. Yeah. I mean, and it's on just, the inside of the glass too, right? No, no, it's on the outside. It's on the outside? But they're just the coolest cars. And, of course, they float right along because it's Mercury. And, and, and he used the correct word, float. Yeah. But, I mean, that is just... I love them. I absolutely fucking love them. I want one so bad. And I love the blue. I think the blue is really sharp. I, that, I like that two-tone like that, yeah. Yeah. If you saw it in person, I know this is ridiculous. I like it the other way a little better. Yeah, you like the, the white, front end. The white on the blue, the white on the bottom, the blue yes. on the top. I yeah. like that better than the other one that was blue on the bottom. But the front end, I mean, it's got the merc. I just, I love that. Just keep pushing buttons. Mark. The only problem is that uh, no matter how much horsepower you give it, it's never going to really go anywhere. But you can make it sound cool. I was going to say I could, I could build a motor that would get that thing scooting down the road. Yeah, but you don't want this thing scooting down the road. You'll never get it stopped. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I you can make that thing go a lot. Right, it'd be like getting an actual train going like hell down the road. <laughs> well, listen, man, back like in a the scene out of uh, back in the day, movie. we used to make old cars go really fast, and that's just what we did. Yeah, you ran off the road and took out houses and people and shit. No, we we raced them on the track. But anyways, that's that's what I want. I mean, I have a thousand different cars I want, but. That's one of them. Yeah. Like way back in the day, we had a 63 Plymouth Belvedere. Mm -hmm. Got that thing to run 990 and a quarter mile. And, and I don't know if you guys know what a 63 Belvedere is, but it probably weighs about as much as your house now. And that thing hauled ass. Then there's Christine. Yeah, those are cool. Which is a car that just has so much personality. So now I like the fins on the back of that. Right. And I love the front end. Even before the Christine movie came yeah. out, just that is. I've always liked that's the older when they Plymouth built cars stuff, with so. like. Look at that bumper. They didn't right. just throw them together aerodynamics. They well, made them. That so bumper cool. probably weighs more than motors in most cars. Right. Now. Look at yeah. that's an actual bumper. It's yeah. not plastic. Gigantic. They made it practical. The bumper yeah. itself could rust. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not just the wheel wells and the older cars. The actual bumper could rust. The door handles could rust. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Whose phone? Well, somebody's buzzing. Sorry. Um, hum. Hum. Sorry. See, now, back in the day, I had a 76 Oldsmobile when I was a kid, and it was so big that it actually got a little bit of rust in the hood, and then when you would go to close the hood, it actually bent the hood because the hinge, the hinges only went so far up. You know what I mean? So then when it started to rust, when you pulled it, it, it bent, and I'm like, damn it. Yeah. Damn it. 70s is when... 442, baby. Yeah, that's when everyone kind of recognizes the old... I guess what I want to say is the 70s is when Oldsmobile lost that spaceship stuff they were doing. Okay, now here's a trivia question for you. You know what 442 stands for? Uh, not anymore. It, it's, it, it's divided, like four something, four something, and two something. Like two pause attraction. Two wheel drive. Two wheel drive. Four barrel carburetor. And four speed. Four speed. Yeah. yeah. The memory has to serve. I knew all that stuff at one point and I forgot. The Hearst was always nice. Yeah, that's all this yeah. is. This is just showing us. Those are nice. But when you get back in the, like, the 60s and the 50s, Oldsmobile were like, they tried to be like spaceships, and that's just so cool. Yeah, see, now here. They had all the, you know, here, well, this is all the, the 98. Yeah, those are all 98s. What did I type in, 50s? Oh, I did. Let me type in 60s. This is what I want right here. Boom. They call it, this guy's calling it a Chevelle, but in 67, it was a Malibu or a Malibu SS, but it just turned it into the Chevelle. In 67, it was a Chevelle 300. It was a totally different car. Yeah. Not, not that I know anything about these cars. 
Look, there's one right there. You can look. Read. Look at that. Boom. With the fins going downwards. Mm -hmm. That's just cool. I mean, it's so dumb and so cool. Look, we're making Matt fall asleep. Yeah, we're talking about cars. He's freaking out. He's, he's, he's like, I don't give a shit. See, no, I like the rear end on these. Look at that. Those look just so nice. I don't know why I like the, the back of them. <clears> I'm going to do 40s. 40s is fun. <laughs> see, we're talking about cars looking at the pictures. Everybody's at home going, oh, they can't see them. That's yeah. why I'm saying the year. You can follow along. Anyways, I or just. Or in post, you can throw up pictures. Eh, I could. I don't know. It'll take a little, yeah, a little longer. Yeah. But, I mean, Age's old bills. Those are kind of cool. I love the Delta 88s and yeah. the Delta 98s. Those are just lead sleds. See, now these I like too. The Buick Grand Nationals. These are nice. Look at that. Thing. And in the nineties, I think Oldsmobile's made a bunch of really nice cars. See, there's that's an eighty seven Grand National. Look at that thing. Yeah. That looks like a nineties car, but it was built in nineteen eighty seven. Just a super, super fun car. But anyway, moving on. What are we talking about next? I want to bring up a conquest. The old conquest. I can't spell it though. That's it right there. Have you ever seen these, Matt? Back in the day in the Yeah, 80s. there's a guy that races those on Street Outlaws. Back in the day when these come out, these were made by Dodge. Actually, they were made by um, either Toyota or Mitsubishi, one or the other. I think it was a Toyota. <clears throat> but they threw badge, uh, Dodge badges on them, and they were turbocharged. And these four cylinders were so damn fast that everyone called them the Mustang Killer. Then the I've other, seen those before. The other one that was nice back in the 90s was the... Um, the 3000 GT, the Mitsubishi 3000. Yes. I used to love those cars. Because they used to double turbo those, twin turbo. Yeah. And they were fast as shit. Oh, yeah, I don't know why, but I used to be obsessed with the body style of them. Even yeah. though it looks funky, but I love them. Then the Acura NSX I really like too. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why I like those because, well, because they those are just nice. weird, This is where the Conquest fell short. Yeah, the interior. <laughs> the interior was so, so blocky terrible. and... Yeah. That's what it came with. Look at that gay ass steering wheel. This guy at least replaced his on his. It yeah. looks a little better. <laughs> yeah. That was the only downside is while you're driving, everyone's looking at this great car. You get to see that. You get to look at that thing. Look at that, dude. It looks like. It looks so 80s. But, dude, it looks. It, it looks like a Mustang. No, you know what it looks like? It looks like the steering wheel you used to get on the little console when you were playing the video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. actually got the same shape and everything. That's hilarious. But they were still really cool cars, but now you can't touch them. But. Oh, I'll let me show you what I had. Oh, what he I actually had. had one of these. And it was nice, but mine had a V6. It was slow as shit. The Monza. Except mine was a Spider. Yeah, Spider's make them a little bit cooler. But it still had a V6. Oh, I spelled it wrong. They spell it with a Y. Yes, they do. This go. car was so much fun, even See, though it wasn't are, fast. I don't know. That's I think that's a really cool looking car. Though. It is. It they're great and good luck finding them nowadays. Was yours an eighty or an eighty one? Mine was a nineteen eighty. It looked an just like that. That it, same color and everything. No, mine was purple, but I doubt they have the purple one in here. Was yours a Z twenty nine? No, well, mine was a V six. That must. But be, it looked identical yeah, to that. And that must I, be the sport package. The Z twenty nine. Yeah, it had the sport look on it, but it was a cool car. And then some jackass slammed into it. Super yep. Cool. There it is. That's it. Except that one's black. Mine was purple. Purple. But that's it. And they were cool, man. They were cool inside and out. The interiors were nice and everything. I had a 76 Oldsmobile Omega. That's not that far off, actually. I think it's close to the same damn car. No, the Omega was the same thing as a uh, um, Nova. Oh. <clears throat> See, right there. Mine was sun-kissed orange. <laughs> you could literally see it from about 18 miles away. It was so bright. I really am looking for a purple one, and I'm not finding it. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. But yeah, mine looked just like this one right here, but it was orange. Had the same tire size and everything. Look at that. Now it sits up a little better. Got a little bit of a rake to it. That actually is kind of nice. But like mine was sun-kissed orange. I mean, and it blew, it was it would glow in the dark. It was just insane. Such a fun car. I wish mine would have had a V8. I would have had so much fun with it. Well, mine came with a 
two V8 in it back. You know, in the, in that time they had the smaller V8s after the gas crunch, and I put a 350 rocket in it, and then that thing moved good. <laughs> See, now I gotta start. This was the interior. It wasn't a yeah. bad car. But like I said, it got rear ended and the guy so skimped out. What, what skimped was your out. first car, Matthew? My first car? Yeah. 1990 Chevy K1500. A, a 90 K1500? Really? Yeah. I haven't seen a K1500. 1990. Oh, they said 95. Was it KT? K1500. 1500. It's a pick em up truck. Mm hmm. Oh. That was your first vehicle? That was my first, yeah. that was my first car. That's not even a car, it's a truck, but yes. Well, yeah. But yeah. Actually, that one right there. That's exactly The blue one or the tan one? The blue one. Yeah, see, and this is kind of right in that era, right between the square body and what they have now. I think it had a 300, 300 or a 350 in it. Probably a 350 or a 305. A 305, that's what it was. It had a 305 that was my it. first car. <laughs> is that a Pinto? <laughs> that is a Pinto. Listen, man, them things are cool looking. You know, Like I said, I like those, and I also like... um. God, not the Monza. What was the other little Chevy back in the day? The um, Chevette. No, no. It was a little... God, what was it called? I don't know. I just named the smallest one, the Chevy Chevette. No, no. I'm talking like regular cars, not the little mini no. things. Um, I'll think of it. There's but, an Omni. Uh, no, see, you're still talking little mini cars. I'm talking okay. like the late 70s. I don't know. Could have been anything. But anyways, yeah, my very first car was a 76 Ford Pinto. The funny thing about my my truck I had, so I got it for my stepdad. Um, got it for free, obviously. And it was funny because it was like he got it from one of his friends, and it was like a little farm truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it had nothing in it. Like, there was no, like, obviously armrest and stuff because it's so old. But the armrest on, like, the door was made out of a 2 by 4 with carpet padding on top of it. That's hilarious. <laughs> you want to talk about rigged? That truck was rigged. <laughs> I think I may have that beat. When I, when I first got my Pinto, the floor wasn't there. It was a bunch of specifically overlaid license plates. Right. And we pulled about 25 license plates out, and then you could just see straight through the car. Oh, my gosh. So we had, my, dad ended up, my dad ended up bringing home these huge... Of what it was, it was like a sixteenth of an inch thick steel plates. Right, so you could. And we actually hammered the sucker mm -hmm. and then tacked it, and that was the floor. Wow. And then once we got the floor in, we had to replace the the fenders. So we replaced the fenders and we did all this work to it. And then I drove it for about a year, and then it just completely fell apart. Yeah, you definitely have me beat. Yeah, hundred percent have me beat. <laughs> this right here, this is we had one of the guys had one of them when I was in high school, and we. Raced it out, dude. We had one of them things run 990 and a quarter mile at like 148 miles an hour. And that's a big ass car. It's just cars back then. Like, it's harder to do it now because cars back then, like, look at the front end of that. Yeah. Look yeah. how much space you have to yep. put in right. something beefy into that. <laughs> yeah. Versus right. cars you have now, you can hardly get into just right. change a car plug. Cars Ooh. nowadays right. are just like electronics. In electronics, you used to get in there, you would replace a tube or you replace a capacitor, yeah. and it would work again. But mm -hmm. nowadays, everything is so compact and disposable. Cars are the same way. Yeah. It's so difficult disposable. to work on them that you now buy them until they break, and then you sell them and buy something else. Yep, that, that's yeah. that's what... The... And it, half of the country is like, I don't, you know, the cars last longer, so I don't care. Right. The other half of the country are like us, like, yeah. yeah, maybe they'll break, but you could fix them. So for a few right. bucks, you could just keep them running. Yep. You know, and, but it's, it's 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 an even argument. Yeah. Well, here's a, here's a good. I could imagine fixing my Continental. Yeah. Well, so now here's a here's a good thing to that. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine, uh, his wife had a Kia Sportage, I believe. Mm -hmm. Somebody got in their front yard. The door, the car was unlocked. They got in, pulled the plastic out from underneath the steering wheel, yep. took a screwdriver, knocked the tumbler off. And used her phone charger, started the car, and left with it. Yep. Any car, any key is like 2010. And, and Hondas, I guess. Are Hondas like, are the same way. Maybe oh, she had a Honda, Hyundai Sonata is what she had, I think. A Hyundai Sonata. Now, obviously, having the push, is, the push to start fixes that issue. But, yeah, if you have, right. like, it's like 2010 to like 2015 or something like that, they had that issue. Yeah, that, and that's yeah. what, I knew that. But, like, he put a video up because they went and got it back after they found it. And he said, this is what you do to start it. And I was like, yep. There, a there's a thing. gang. Well, it started with they <clears throat> called themselves a gang. It was called the Kia Boys, and they would oh, they poor bastards. They would go around and steal people's cars and drive. What them losers! Them. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. We are the Yugo gang. <laughs> the, yeah. the Yugo. <laughs> we don't really go anywhere, dude. Listen, remember those things were 
freaking ugly as hell. The yeah, Yugo. but they were so cheap. Right, you could buy a brand new one back in the 80s for what, 3500 bucks? Not even that. They were literally cheap as shit, like $1,000, I think. You can, uh, yeah, you go, just like Yugoslavia. Well, what the, gosh damn it. Because that's where they were from, Yugoslavia. I can't spell you all of a sudden. There we go. There you go. Look at that thing. God, that's ugly. They didn't last long because they didn't last long. They fell apart. Yep. Do you remember those, Matt? I have seen those. I have seen those before. It kind of reminds me of what I was. My first car <laughs> almost was. It was a, I forget what year, but it was a Suzuki Samurai. Oh, that was almost yeah. my first Listen, car. Listen, dude, I'll take yeah. another one of them right now. Those things are the look, greatest off road vehicles ever. Look, look at that I interior. Heard the, I heard the complete opposite. I heard those are the worst type of vehicles. That, like, you know how, like, Jeeps, yeah. how they're easy to flip? I heard the, well, the Samurai will flip over a little easier, but you just, you have to know what you're doing. Okay. Because even but Family Guy. go through anything. Family Guy made a skit on the Suzuki yeah. Samurais because they were so I've had, bad. Uh, I've had three or four of them, and okay. I used to run with a bunch of guys. that uh, We all had them, and that's all we do. We'd go down to Wellsville, and that's all we all wheeled. Hmm. Yeah, that was, that was going to be my almost first car, and that kind of reminded me of it because it kind of looks similar. You know, it's funny you mention that. Back in the day, in about 99, I was going to buy – I had a Thunderbird – and I was going to... Thunder Chicken? Yeah, and I was going to get a different car. And but I wasn't quite going to... I wasn't settled on the Mustang. I wanted something cool. And I thought about buying a DeLorean. Because oh, you, yeah, you could man. buy a DeLorean back then for reasonable money. Yeah. And here's the reason why I didn't buy it. Because my garage was so small that I wouldn't be able to open the doors in the Inside. garage. Oh, <laughs> so I Thank passed you. on the DeLorean, bought a Mustang. No, I would still love a DeLorean, honestly. Here's here's a great story. I got a buddy of mine. He does show cars, and he had a. 60 something Chevy 1500 4x4 on 44s, 44 inch tires. It's bright orange, and on the back it said, and back in the day, the it was, Have you driven a Ford lately? was their slogan. Mm-hmm. So on the back of his 60s Chevy 4x4, it said, Have you driven over a Ford lately? <laughs> but it was so big, when he would go home, he would have to let half the air out of the tires. And even when the like, half the air was out of the tires, he had to take a pair of vice grips. And push his garage door up that extra half an inch and clamp it with a pair of vice grips so that little half inch wouldn't drag across the roof to get it in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> Man, these are expensive. An 81 DeLorean for $80,000. That's ridiculous. And you know what? Back to the Future is what made that car oh, expensive. 100%. That's what made that car expensive. Those cars were they are not practical daily drivers. No, they're not. Oh, they were terrible. They're uncomfortable. They're... The window on them? They don't. They don't even have a roll window. Bring that up. I want to see the interior of that DeLorean because oh. there was one thing that I always thought when I would watch the Back to the Future movies: the gauges when they would show them going to eighty-eight. Those look like Ford gauges. I don't think that's what's in that car. I don't think that was the right gauges for the vehicle. Can you get? Well, interior let me bring pictures? up interior. The yeah. problem is that they relaunched it. Now it's a. It's a. It is a uh, electric car, so I don't know. Wait, they. If we'll get the original, yeah, that might be it right there. We can't get a bigger picture. Maybe that is, but they sure because at the time, one girl I used to date had a. I, damn Jesus. it! I didn't want to download it. <laughs> just open. All right, it just keeps downloading. I got like twelve of that now. Is but it? like, look how impractical that looks. Yeah. So uncomfortable. It just, yeah, it does. Well, it's made for skinny people. Yeah. <laughs> Fat and, guys like us. And the windows, like... they don't roll. The that little portion right there. It pops open. With like yeah, see, that's the yeah. interior, but that looked kind of, the gauges look kind of like my girlfriend back then had an 87 Mustang, and they looked just well, like that. Well, don't forget, the DeLorean was a bastard of all different, I mean, it had a, yeah, and a I Volvo think, engine in it. And I think that's what. Who made the DeLorean? Because it wasn't. DeLorean. DeLorean yeah, it was made like it. The yeah. guys, you know, the, the guy who designed the uh, the GOAT, the GTO. Yeah. That's oh, who, okay. DeLorean. Don, Looks like the old Don AMXs. Because yeah. they only did it for like, what? Yeah, but here, years, three see, years? look at this. Well, yeah, he, he ran out of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's the, the 87 Mustang interior, and that's exactly what those gauges look like. Yeah. And that's why I always, I thought that's a Ford gauge. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, they were kind of cool. I mean, it had the nostalgic thing. Oh, yeah. Now oh, it's yeah. just, now it's just like you said, Back to the Future made that car, but then it, it did. It's still in the, just, they, they do look cool. They do, they are a cool I mean, looking car. I'll tell you what else is a really cool looking car. The guy that owns the bar I used to work at bought one. He bought one of those new Genesis. Genesis, I've always loved those. Man, cars. I'll tell you what, that's a really sweet looking little car. He traded his Boxster in and bought it. I think. 
I think he sold his Boxster. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're, they're nice cars. Genesis is a nice car. It, yeah, it's re- dude. It's really cool. I don't know why I like that little car, but that's I like that. Oh yeah, that coot is nice. I like that color too. I don't know why I like that yellow with a black stripe, but I do. This is one of my favorite cars when I was a kid, and I'm a little embarrassed to say the reason I like this car is because of the movie Phantasm. Oh, I just think it was a great car. Dude. It was a great car. I just happened to fall in love with a great car. It's a Hemi Cuda. Yeah, them things are so 74 nice. Hemi Cuda. The only problem is everyone on the planet loves them, so mm-hmm. you can't touch them for under 80 grand. The Super B was nice, too. They had the, the, 60s, the 67, 68 Super B, they were nice. Like I said, my favorite is... A 69 Z28. That body style for the Z28s are just yeah. so yeah. clean. I've always loved them. Black with, or red with, or, yeah, with red with black, stripe. black, black stripes. Yep. I, I like, the, I like the white with the hugger orange stripe. Yeah. I don't know why. That's a weird color combination, but it always just looked really nice to me. The other thing Bless I used to back then was the Yanko Camaro. It was a nice looking Camaro. This was the car I fell in love with. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. That's actually the one from the movie, ain't it? Right. <laughs> gonna live. Mark's gonna die right here on camera. You all get to watch it. I got something in my throat. Get it out. Of there. I was gonna say, spit <laughs> it out, big boy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but this is my favorite year. This is a '71. Yeah, that's nice. But yeah, it's just. I mean, okay. There's like no pictures of the damn thing. <laughs> there's one. <clears throat> <clears throat> but let's do this. We'll just bring up. You can tell we're night shift people over here yawning and stuff. It's yes. 4 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon, and we're all like, it's time to get out of bed. Go to work. Yep. I'll do it this way. I'll just bring up the 71. 71 Cuda, then hit images. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm still dying. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. See, the front See, end was different. I like the purple, too. The purple looks good. Yeah. I like that the yellow and the purple on them. I don't know why. That color is hideous. Yes, it is. The red isn't bad. That is even what hideous. Is, yeah, I that like, looks like a juju bee. See now, I like that. That sounds good. The pink with the with the black, but it looks terrible. terrible. All red isn't all that either. No, I kind of like that yellow and black one. Where'd it yep. go? Uh, that was a different year. That was a seventy two. Oh. Seventy four. Oh, was it seventy four? It's really funny. But it has to be black. If I'm going to get that, see gear, the black looks. See, I think that black would look good if it had a some type of stripe on it. It would look better in person. In oh. pictures, it just looks dark. Right. And that's the only thing. The thing with the black, too, is it's so hard to keep clean. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all right. I love black vehicles, them. but. You're right. The purple looks really good. That's that crazy plum. Yep. Purple. Plum crazy for you. Yep. Yep. Excuse me. Good Lord. But anyways, yeah, that's. going to start making me hot. I don't know why. I'm it's going. contagious. It is. I'm sitting there drinking an energy drink, yawning, ready to go to bed. <laughs> so welcome back. Hi, I'm right, but I'm so glad you got to See, we're talking about stuff from back in the day, and I'm getting tarred. <coughs> the nostalgic just makes you want to go to bed. Yeah. You guys are talking about stuff that's way out of my time frame. Well, uh, listen, that's because you're my son, and you weren't born yet. <laughs> what have you even thought of? <laughs> you, you were just swimming around, and you know. So Mark's so obsessed with the cards. He's like, I'm just closing my computer. Yeah, we can't talk about cards. I'm not talking about anything. No, I'm kidding. <sighs> So anyway. All right. So I'm going to switch the topic a little bit since we got Matt here. Oh, gosh. So you told me you're going to college, correct? Yes. What are you studying? Business. Do you going to be a business owner or just run a business? I don't know yet, honestly. I, I, think w- he's I just would love run. to run a business, but I, don't, I honestly don't know yet. So if we start a pizza shop, you'll know what you're doing. In about three years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but it's, it's going to take a while. It's a long time to wait. I mean, it shouldn't be I've been waiting hard. 40 years already. <laughs> if you want to open a pizza shop and need somebody who knows what they're doing, my roommate will help you. He used to open a bunch of different ones. He worked for a chain, and that's all he did was he traveled around and opened new stores. What I need is, like, the infrastructure part of it. He yeah. can help you with that, I'm sure. And, I mean... Creating a, just creating a buzz. I, I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do that. Yeah, but uh, let me get nice and stupid close to the camera here. Hello. <clears throat> but it's just something I thought of because I can't imagine a pizza shop failing unless you your pizza suck taste wise well, or you can't uh, keep up with the demand. What is? Go ahead, keep talking. Well, I'm, I'm watching you, so now I can't. Well, keep what is talking. success? I can't spell. It. I can't even say that word. Not alone spell it. 
rate. What is the success of, rate of a pizza shop? Well, I'm going to independent pizza shop because if you just do pizza shop, it might put in like the chain. You know what I mean? Well, would that be a bad idea? Just start our own pizza hut? I mean, franchise? You'll get everything delivered to you. All you got to do is make them. What, do you think that would be easier, Matt, or starting from scratch? Well, see, here's your profitability. I, uh, honestly, I think starting from scratch would be easier because at the you know if you <clears throat> become a franchise, then uh, if you think about it, if Pizza Hut, for example, goes down as a whole, you're going down too. Yeah, right. You know, but you would own the profits. equipment, though. You could just change the name and then start from scratch. <laughs> then. Well, see, the thing with that is I know a buddy True. of mine I went, I went to high, or high school and junior high school with, his parents owned a Giannino's, mm-hmm. and when he decided to change and get out of the Giannino's, it was so bad, they Giannino's took them to court to change their freaking phone number. Damn. Because they said that phone number is associated right. with us. Yeah. Well, all right, so, I mean, that's the, I've, that's the that was, take down the signs. Get rid of the sauce and create and change your phone number yeah. and change the name. I mean, I would just do that anyway. I just thought it was crazy that they took him to court yeah. to change the phone number. There you go. Like, how much does a pizza restaurant profit on average? Yeah, that's we'll see, we'll see what we got there. I don't know how they do that, though, because, like I said, what if you're open later than everyone else? you got to be making some kind of bank. Let's see. It says this. I'm gonna... 7 and 13% is your profit. And that actually sounds low, but whatever. Therefore, a restaurant with an annual revenue of eighty thousand dollars net will net you between fifty six and one hundred and four thousand. That seems it. really low. So if you if you sell eight hundred thousand dollars worth of annual revenue, you'll make between fifty six and one hundred four thousand dollars. So at eight hundred thousand dollars, where's my calculator? How many? How much you make in a day at eight hundred thousand dollars? I don't know. Hang on, we're gonna find out. Eight hundred thousand divided by fifty-two weeks. Or we'll just do three sixty-five. We'll do it by the how many days? That's twenty-one hundred and ninety-one dollars and seventy-eight cents a day. So that's that's a profit. lot of no. That's what you'd have to make a day to make to do eight hundred thousand dollars worth of business to make one hundred and four thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of pizza. That's a lot of pizza. Yeah, it is. Well, almost twenty two hundred bucks a day. Divide that by well, if, if you think about it. It's well, what like, is the average cost of your ne- uh, normal pizza? That's like two hundred pizzas a day, averaging around yeah. ten pizzas, a uh, ten dollar pizza. So yeah. the question I have is, what is a normal day in pizza making? Like, how many pizzas does does uh, Domino sell in a day? Yeah. I mean, you got a point there. Probably but, a lot. Right, and that's there's the difference between, like you say, the chain and the little pizza shop. It's probably yeah. different. So, oh, I imagine the chain is just more convenient, but the, the local places probably taste better. Oh, I dropped the flamingo. <clears throat> you dropped the flamingo? Average pies. So choking to death over here. Day from pizza shop. Why don't you get something to drink? Oh, I'm too lazy to get up. I'd yeah. rather cough. Do you want me to grab you something since I'm on the Yeah, that's okay. All, all right. right. <laughs> I think we only got like 20 minutes left. You yeah. Know. Yeah. So, how much does and actually somebody posed? Busy places sell between three hundred and five pizzas, three five hundred pizzas a night. That would be my fear: is how do you keep up with that kind of demand when you have an oven and not a pizza oven that just like the rotate? Assem- like the, yeah, the assembly yeah. lines that shit. Right. Jeez. Now this guy says, now, "How much does the pizza oven cost?" See, that's yeah. There. See I'm now not, here, and this is gonna. This is for a busy place sells three hundred to five hundred pizzas. It says depends on your location, rent, whatever. He says fifty pies a night is right for a small unit with small income, with a good or a small unit with a good income. Yeah. So fifty pies a day. I'm gonna try to type in commercial, but I can't spell it. So come. Er. Here you go. Average price was his average time to spend on a table is an hour and a half. Average price of a pie is thirteen dollars. So for four people, this is an Eden Pizza restaurant. Your average check will be $25 if you open from 6 to 12 p.m. You have 30 tables. You have a turnover of four, so 30 times four, so you're going to make $3,000 a day. All right, here you go. So a conveyor a ventless con- a conveyor oven that cooks about, what would they say? Cooks about up to 60 12-inch pizzas an hour. $18,000. Oh, See, I'm looking at this bad boy. This thing is only eighteen hundred. 
Oh, shit. Now, it cooks four at a time. See, that? I like the pizzas out of something like that better anyway. I don't like the, the conveyor ones. Well, I'm just thinking demand. I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking more of, like, demand. Like but if, still, these these got to rock. I mean, these got to be able to just cook a pizza in minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's the pizzas what we got. made tonight only took, what, 10 minutes in a conventional oven? Yeah. What about, like, brick fired? The well, problem that, with that these is... Are, these are they're on the bottom of ceramic, so it's like a brick fire. Oh, okay. Okay. But no, he's talking about cooking with wood, right? No, like a... Like a um, well, this one's 17,000. What's that one? That's a, yeah, that's a, well, they forget what they call that. Yeah. But What's that one pizza place in Belton where you get like the pizza in like two minutes? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it either. Blaze. <laughs> Blaze, yeah. Blaze. Uh, they use a brick oven, I think. Yeah, because yeah, they cook at 700 degrees. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. Like, oh, what about even that, you know? I don't know. I just think it would be way more expensive than something that was built and designed to pound out the pizzas all day long every day. But that's a lot better than eighteen thousand yes. dollars. Oh yes. Like I said, the one I was looking at is only eighteen hundred. See, and I yeah. think this is close to kind of the style. He's got a double stack of something like that. Yeah. That's thirty grand. Mm-hmm. Fu- I'd rather spend like a lot less and just buy four regular like Stoves? No, no, like the ovens that you put in a, in a cabinet. Yeah. Those are like a, I don't know, like a thousand dollars a piece. I guess that would be more expensive than everybody. Wait, the ovens they put in a cat? Are you talking about like a? Just a wall-in like, oven. Just a wall oven. Oh, like if you have yeah. a stove top and you can buy the, just the oven, the oven. separate. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I just remember those are like a thousand dollars a piece. So two grand would be Plus two ovens. Plus keeping them running. Yeah, yeah probably cost This is what he's talking about. Like, I, don't like, I don't care for the way the pizzas are on them. There's the mini version of what you were looking at. Yeah. Now we're starting. So yeah, we're see, this this is this, a... this is just, like I said, this is just pounding them out, man. You stick one in, it goes through, your pizza's done. You're, you're making 100, 200 pizzas what did I a say, night. What, what did I say, 60 Six, an hour? Yeah, 60 an hour. Yeah. That's a 12, I mean, it's a 12-inch pie. Something like that, yeah. So this one's $31,000. Gosh, Damn. Now, obviously, another thing you could do you can find is used find, ones too. Yeah, find the pizza places that are closing down yeah. and ready to go. Yeah. Out of business. I know where one's right now. I know where there's a pizza shop that went out of business two years ago. Right now, it's sitting empty and all the equipment's still in it. I Call just, up whoever owns I, it. Yep, I just yeah. I don't know who owns the building, but I don't know what they want for it. But I guarantee you, it's going to be <laughs> oh yeah, better. <laughs> probably two hundred thousand dollars. But I mean, everything is oh, there. You're talking about the buying the Everything's whole pizza place, shop. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or just getting a loan and just starting. Yeah. Like I said, all you got to do is come up with your own recipe. You don't even have to buy your own crust at first. So you got to talk about your business. Now I have to pull up what I want to buy and see if there's anything for sale around town. I missed the last one. Pissed me off. <clears throat> Anyways, I just like the idea of being in control of what you advertise, your brand. You know what I mean? Making up your own brand. I don't know why it's not coming up. Mm-mm. And running your own stuff. I mean, it's just. Yeah, I mean, and, obviously, you know. I'm I'm willing to put in the time because you'd really do work every single day plus holidays. But I yeah. keep thinking if we had a building, we would just invite our families to the building. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, what Thanksgiving dinner? Well, come to the pizza shop. I'll throw a turkey in one of those ovens. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. Or I'll, I'll so, ask a friend to take over for a day. You know, give me something to do. Give me something to work on. Something I can build. Right there, something like that is what I would I would run one of these. A laundromat. Yep. Yeah, you've been talking about that. I and I had one that I was looking at, and it and I was like, I'm not going to even put a bid on it until it gets to the price I want. And it got to that price, and somebody bid on it before me. I did, and they sold it. So I guess I was right on what I would pay for it because it started out. But you bought that. I, the reason I really liked that was because you owned the real estate and everything. You didn't buy just the business and rent the yeah. space. You yeah. owned the real estate and the whole nine yards. That's the best way to do it if you own the building. The problem yeah. is if something breaks, you got to figure out the Baja, how to fix it. Right, the right. Baja. The Baja. The Baja. <laughs> the Baja. The the Baja, Baja how to fix it. <laughs> then the other one that I was kind of looking at was. Don't make fun of my Baja. <laughs> this was the other What thing. is this? This is a single one. Maybe this one won't be. So we got Pizza Group D32E Dragon 32 Electric Stone Conveyor Oven. I want to see how much that costs. <laughs> Twenty-five. No, this one's a this one's a deal. It's only forty thousand dollars. <laughs> it's a deal. It's no, more. It expensive. says you save ten thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! There you go. This this is the other one I was thinking about. Something Fuck. like this, but this one's in Louisville for sale right now. It's a car wash. Car wash and quick lube. Oh, I'm oh, a, it's a it's an oil change too. Yeah, yeah. So who's gonna do that? 
Yeah. I was thinking about buying one of these too. Yeah, but who's going to do the oil change portion? Yeah, you, you hire people do to do it. I can oh, do it. I used to work shit. one of them places. It's not that tough. The big, the biggest thing with the, those is like this one here probably isn't so bad because people aren't expecting the the twenty minute oil change. Six grand. Six thousand bucks. There you go. <laughs> Used like, pizza oven for six grand. They say people here are going to some place like that. They're not expecting the fifteen Matt, minute oil change. So there's your conveyor one for five thousand yeah, dollars. I mean, there it is, right there. You just need to uh, come up with five grand. Five Gs, Matt, and then the building. But I say hey, this we one here. That three ways. I mean, you don't need a building. We can do it out of my garage at I'm, first. Yeah, we're, I'm not buying a pizza shop. This <laughs> this I would do. The laundromat I would do. I, I do the pizza shop I could do. I there's I do so many things on the weekend now, there's no way I could do a pizza shop. Three grand there just isn't. Three grand for a conveyor pizza shop. No, uh, we'll give me and Mark will run it during the week. You can have the weekends off. Fine. We'll split the <laughs> That week makes up. no sense yeah, because just, if we run I'm it during working, the week, you'll be working. And the I get the weekends off. You gotta work Wait, seven days a week yeah. and I don't have to do we shit. Will work the I'll weekends. take that deal. <laughs> we'll work the weekends. You have the week off. I'll take that deal. <laughs> My brain's not working right now, okay? I'm on, I'm on sleep mode right now. <laughs> All we need is a garage at first. Just hook this bitch up in the garage, make the garage clean. I'll get those steel tables on my sun porch. But see, yes, Door dash that shit. Something like that. That's a little more. That one's a little worn out. Look but. at it this way, Pat. If we start with a pizza shop, then you'll have a lot of money to buy your laundromat. And then, then we'll buy you to, out. I you got can enough go money to buy the laundromat now, and sir. Then, <laughs> and then if I do illegal shit, you can launder my money. Well, why wouldn't you launder your own money if you get a pizza oh, shop? It's a cash God. business, you, you just, moron. You just stabbed that joke right in the heart. I got it. <laughs> Thank God somebody got it. I got it too, but I'm just saying it doesn't make any sense to launder your money through a separate business. Because it's a laundry. <laughs> and no, I get the joke. I'm just yeah. And actually, I, know, I was just helping Mark. And just so Thank you know, you. since Thank I've you. I've done research on this, you can't do that anymore. Hmm. Because of the fact that now 90% of your laundromats are in places where you pay for water and sewer, they know how much water and sewer it takes to run a cycle. So if the, your profits don't match with what your water and sewer is, the IRS will come visit you. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd catch on eventually. Oh, 100%. <laughs> so I can no longer sell kittens. <laughs> But yeah, this is kind of more like the car wash. I was thinking something like that. This is spray car wash. All right, we're going to do this again. Use commercial pizza oven. There you go. There you go. There's a nice one. But that's in Hoover, in Ohio, wherever that is. Five grand. What? Now, what the fuck? And who says it has to be? We, maybe we should just open up a bar and then we can serve bar food. All you need is deep fryer. Air fryer. Air fryer is okay. Air fryer is <laughs> Healthier. That, hey, <laughs> that uh, uh, theater we went to just had a professional air fryer. Really? They were, yeah, they were cooking all kinds of shit. That's yeah, it was they, pretty good. Yeah, we did pretty good. The only thing, that, uh, the pizzas they had were just a little cold in the center. I think that's because they were cooking them from frozen instead of air fryer. Right, and they told me, they told me beginning, we're winging this. We're, we're using you as a... Guinea um, pig. Um, a learning experience. <laughs> Didn't you have the burger and you said the burger was pretty good? It was good. The burger was good. Yeah, the burger was good. I said the pizza, like you said, the pizza wasn't bad. Yeah, because mine was mine was just a little cold in the center. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, it was. I mean, it was good. So I'm I'm just saying, why go to work when we can be our own boss? We gotta we gotta figure something. There's gotta be a business we can do. I'm telling you, Lenar, the laundromat is the success rate for laundromats is extremely high. Um, they're easy to they're pretty easy to run. There's not a whole lot of time spent if you do just the coin laundry now if you do the laundromat with the wash and fold you're obviously going to have more time in it if you do a wash and fold with delivery it's even What's more time wash and fold? i was going to oh. say he's talking terms that i've never is that heard like of. where you do it for them right like so so you have your coin operated so laundry you're talking about like a dry cleaning well, yeah. no 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 not dry cleaning wash and fold okay so you have a section on the side where somebody works and somebody brings in their laundry and you say, okay, it costs this much a pound to do laundry. You weigh it. It'll be this much money, and you can pick it up on Friday. It's almost like a... And then somebody washes it, folds it, puts it back in their whatever they brought it in the basket. Then they come pick it up. And then some places do the same thing, but they offer delivery and pickup. So, like, elderly people, you yeah. can you drive around, pick it all up, do it, and then... then $300. Sh- yep. Take it back. Commercial pizza oven. You can cook two at a time. $300. $300. $300. So you buy two of them. Now you can buy four of them for that much. And cook four pizzas. All right, there's small pizzas. 
They are definitely small pizzas. <laughs> but that would right. probably be like a 12 inch top yeah. size. Or oh, well. 14 inch. 14 inch. It's not too bad. So you could cook a 12 inch pizza in it. If it's yeah. 14 inch, you could probably 12 would be your max size. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's doable. But see, for that, you would get a couple of those yep. and get one of them kiosks at the mall and sell it right at the mall in the, in the oh, food court. Yeah. The only problem with that is that shit, those kiosks so in the malls are so, you wouldn't make a dime. But you'd have to find some place. There's going to be like a car dealership or something that you could just set up yeah. shop in. I mean, look at that guy who's got the, the shed outside of Home Depot. Yeah. Sells or hot listen, dogs. or even one of those, uh, like at the bottom of the office building. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that like in like the lunch counter. Put right. One that, yeah, do yeah. like a little. You pizza get everybody slapper. who works there to come down and. Then you could probably even use that little oven to cook like little like eight hundred dollars subs. Eight hundred dollars like for a conveyor. There you go, buddy. That's the cheapest. That's a one little yet. one. That's a little one too. I bet yeah, you that doesn't one. matter. Get two of them yeah. for eight hundred bucks. I can get two of them. Ta da! Bum ba bum. Does it say the size? Doesn't say the size. It probably does if you look up the numbers of what it is. And that's a gas one. So 12 inch, 12 inch, 18. I mean, these, yeah. Okay, if you can get up to 18 inch pie, then that's going to be a regular size large pie from a regular shop, right? 18 inches. See, it's so doable. It's so doable. But like I say, for what you put into it, I, I just think time wise, laundromats, car washes, things like that, you're going to make the same profit with a lot less effort. Yeah. We could do a burger shop. I can cook a mean burger. Anyways, it's just something I want to do. I want to do it because I can't do anything else. Um, I mean, you could do other things. You just might not make money. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, the coin laundry, then, like I said, the wash and fold, that, that gives you the, the problem with that is you have employees then. Yeah. If, then if you That's do wash and goes fold, <laughs> well, no, if you have just a coin operated laundry, you're there for maybe eight hours, ten hours a week. Yeah. Because all you're doing is switching out money and then making your small repairs on stuff. If you have the wash and fold, now you have to have somebody there all the time, an attendant, to take the laundry. If you do wash and fold with delivery, now you got to have more than that and a vehicle. So it just adds to the time that you put into it. Yeah, I'm talking passive income. Just like if you own 100 vending machines, that's a passive income. You don't have to be there. You go around and refill the machines, take your money, keep them going, boom, same thing. But that's you have more time in that because you're driving to 15, 20 locations instead of just one. Maybe I should, re- I, I should bring the Ohio Grape Candy Bar back. Wait, you mm-hmm. have a candy bar? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the wife and I made a candy bar. Oh. I have pictures of it somewhere. Somewhere. But, yeah. It was actually good. People, I had, I took them. I worked at Gojo at the time, and everyone's like, "Yo, these are good candy bars." I'm like, "Good, fuck off." <laughs> Instead of saying, "Good, watch the podcast." Oh, look, those are those two pictures of the DeLorean interior that I had downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they're not here. But anyway, moving along, moving right along. I bet you, I know where I can find them, though. I bet you they're on the website somewhere. I bet you. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. You want to bet you? I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. Stop doing that. Stop doing what? All that weird stuff. Oh, so you're allowed to do weird stuff, but I'm not? Right. Okay. Because I'm retarded and I can't help myself. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Oh, no, they knew it the whole time. Okay, photos. Let's see if they're here. Photomographs. Lottie. There they are. See the hand. Come on over here, mate. I gotta get my glasses on. Oh, he's got to get his spectacles. Handmade, baby. That's why one's a different shape than the other. <laughs> All right, so what are in these? Give us the, the lowdown of what was in your candy bar. Um, I don't know. <laughs> You'd have to ask the wife that question. Holy shnikes. So let's let's make candy bars again. What's in them? Shit, I don't know. Well, the wife knows. We can make them. I'm going to have to call the manufacturer. Like a, but look, look, look at that. I even made the ridges, man. Well, aren't you special? It's ribbed for your pleasure. That's what she said. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, just go to the Ohio Grape on Facebook, go to the photos, and you will see the candy bars, our grape bar. The grape bar. Yep. Anyways. You'll also see the the big guy here holding the candy bars, looking like an idiot. Hey. Candy bars, man. Candy bars. Candy bars. Well, you may not want to believe this, but the hour. hour is up again. Well, thanks for joining us for Car and Business Hour. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Because yeah. that, yeah, you didn't do nothing. Hey, but... it's your guys' fault. You're the ones who won't tell us what to talk about. 
Well, no, well, listen, we, we just got to put up a disclaimer for this one. Have your computer ready to yeah, follow sure. along for what we're looking at. Yeah. yeah. And Such if you're driving everything. in a car, sorry. Yeah. Right. Imagination. That's, That's right. Thing. You can imagine. You can eat imagine. <laughs> You can, the cars, you can imagine the cars that you have no idea what they That's look like. Right. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get Mark a tattoo that says "Welcome to Stupidville." Yeah, there's a mall for sale down there. Maybe I'll buy it in Stupidville. Yeah, you can go out. Uh, no, that's so, stupid. I said stupid. Uh, Ville. Tomatoes, tom- <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes. And- They're the same damn thing. Good lord. <laughs> Hey, anybody got a? Uh, yeah. Anybody have any uh, d- d- buildings out there for sale? Hit, da, da, da. hit me up. We need a permanent place for the grape. Yep, we don't need a big building. We just need a yeah, yeah, a one bedroom apartment is what I was looking for for the longest yeah. time. With it, well, see, and the other thing though, too, since we're gonna have guests, we should have a a decent sized restroom for people to change and get ready and be camera ready and all that kind of. Well, people in hell want ice water. I, I, I gotta I, do my hair, okay. Okay. Listen, you do need to do your hair. You look like a shaggy dog. I shaved today. Clean that shit up. Dude, just for shits and giggles, you ought to buy like a wig and just wear it someday. I just wish he would grow his beard instead of... Or better yet, just get the toupee. So it only on top. A toupee? <laughs> a toupee. I've thought about it because they have it now to where the they're like glue and it's like a super strong glue. But I'm like, everybody knows that I'm losing hair already. So they're obviously going to know that it's fake hair. Yeah, but the See, strangers won't know. I think you should just let it grow out and then it'll look like a bowling ball wearing a hula skirt. Oh, you should have saw, saw blah, 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 blah. And you're making fun of me? <laughs> English is tough. You should have saw it before I shaved today. It was, I, asked, I mean, all last week, you know, Mark was looking at me. <laughs> it was bad. Kids. Yeah. Anyways. All right, peeps. Well, thanks for listening to us again, and check us out next week. Until then. Bye.